to the moms and the dads and the 2010 grads, the class of 60, salutes. We thought it would be nice if we imparted some advice as a way of tracing our roots. Fifty years has gone by in but a blink of the eye, and some of us got left far behind. So, right out of the blue, you're going to lose a few. But hopefully, life will be kind. Some graduated with honors, and some of us were goners, and hit out south of the equator. Some kept in touch, and others, not so much. But they showed up 50 years later. You see a familiar face that time can't erase, and instantly you know that you knew him. And another you'll ponder from where did he wander, and what did the Lord do to him? We've had countless careers, from engineers to volunteers, that each of us had to probe. We went in every direction of individual selection and literally encompassed the globe. Some lifestyles are varied. Some sweethearts got married. We produced over 800 kids. Grandchildren abounding. The number is astounding. With more on the way, God forbids. We should apologize for the terrible surprise that the world is going to hell in a basket. It never needed changing or even rearranging, but somehow we put it in a casket. Life was shorter, but gas was a quarter, and a case of beer was only two dollars. But that needed improving. We had to get moving. We were most intelligent scholars. Someone made the decision, no more free television. We can even charge for water. If it was free from the hose, now we pay through the nose just like a lamb at the slaughter. You have little rice rockets and metric sockets, but your cars are front-wheel driven. We had 55 Chevys and Hemi head heavies, and that our cars were better is a given. You might be fond of that little old Honda, but let's see you keep it for 50 more years, because I'm afraid You'll have to push it to the parade. There won't be any gas, it appears. We had American made, but we improved on trade and sent all of our jobs overseas. Continue the life you've enjoyed to remain employed. You all better learn Chinese. Tattoos were for sailors or those friendly with jailers. Now people are painted like lizards. If there's a way to do it and see their way to it, they'll have you tattooing your gizzards. We had food made to order. Cigarettes were a quarter. Now they're six dollars a pack. There wasn't an answer to the question of cancer. Even doctors were smoking a stack. So before you get started and join the departed, remember, they're now proven killers. They'll get you to try them and hook you to buy them and stuff them with vitamin fillers. At 300 a carton, the price will be smartened, but someone will jack up the profit, and the government will tax it. If no one will ax it, then the people are willing to cough it. It's like pickup sticks when you improve politics with every movement disturbs the pile. So with every little blunder, we threw on more lumber. You guys will be busy for a while. Cast your nets worldwide when problems collide. Most of you will be in your prime. When your kids give birth, we'll be stepping off this earth. Some say it's just in time. As you look down range, be careful what you change. Be true to your founding fathers. For it's easy to get snowed and thereby erode the things that you thought to be bothers. Try to take stock and maybe turn back the clock. Give our flag that needed protection. We hand you a mess, but if I had to guess, 
you'll take the world in a better direction.